Tasty's editing's pretty awful. You act like I watch Tasty's videos, man, you know. Twitch.tv forward slash Boaty. It's a far better stream than this Tasty stream you guys are watching. Just saying. Friends, we have a big issue. Now, you can't tell by looking at me now, but watch this. Boom! I'm poor. Now, you might say you're not poor. You have over eight bill in your bank. But first of all, all right, a lot of that is in milk, so freak you. But secondly, let's look at our gear tab. Ah, my God, look at all these empty slots. We have the Elijah, the Spectral, the Nightmare Staves, the Mace. We don't have the Zerite Crossbow. All of these things are missing, and I need them back before the release of Raid 3. Not to mention money to purchase the Raid 3 rewards. So, I have compiled a dream gear list that we need to complete in the coming months, and it is hefty. So, we need to get started. ASAP. So we are starting off with some Zully, which you might say is terrible money, and by golly, you would be right, but I do have my reasons, all right? Because I'm going to be weaving some other goals into the series to help keep me motivated and just to go for things that I've wanted to go for for a very long time, all right? And number one of those is both mutagens. Thankfully, I do have the tans, but uh, the magma eludes me for the time being. And honestly, I, I just enjoy Zolra, so I really don't mind camping this stuff out. Call me weird, but I'm not really gonna farm the shit out of this boss, right? It's not worth that much, but I am currently waiting for my Tob team to assemble. So this is some great downtime. Oh, an elite clue, bro, nice. Okay, I'm actually, mm, I'm gonna turn these in for masters and I'm gonna stack up all the masters for the, uh, for the end of the video. We'll put a little clip in. Hopefully we can get like uh, 10 or so. I don't know if that's aggressive, but I love Master Clues. It's it's literally like my favorite content in the game. All right, Cheeky Six kills. The Todd team is ready in literally record time. They've never been this fast in my life. But yeah, we're going to go there. I'm going to participate in the fabled Tob Tuesday with Mr. Prison Joe and the one and only Hamzy. So I'm going to gear up. Hopefully we can get a little bit lucky today because I've been loving Tob and I have been absolutely raking in some money there. So will the luck streak continue? We pulled a side three recently. Let's make it a second. First top of the day. And we get nothing. Mm, second case, you never like it. Eh, nope. Okay, yeah, I think I mentioned I was going for the uh, the 2K cape. Um, if you guys want to check out my log right now, it's kind of disgusting. It's literally the only thing we're missing. We have all kits, all dust, four pets, four sites. It's kind of an insane log. Um, oh, we're going in. See you, boys. Mm, never like it. Ooh, we did get an elite clue, though. Nice. Nice. Oh, the sessions are so whack, bro. All right. Unfortunately, the top sessions earlier bore no fruit. However, we do have two master. Where's my other master? What the heck, bro? Oh, there's my casket. I don't know why it's in here. We have two master caskets stacked up. Hopefully, I'm going to try to get like 10 or so. I think that'll be a pretty fun number to even up. But uh, yeah, we might do some more top in a bit. But I'm going to go back to Zora and just kind of hang out there for a little bit. Real quick, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different classes on almost every topic imaginable. And when I teamed up with them, I immediately started thinking of all the different classes I could look at. Not only did they have my personal interests like coffee and espresso, but they had so many great classes for content creators like myself. If you've ever considered making YouTube videos or streaming or anything like that, then Skillshare can definitely help you with that. The class I've decided to take this month is one that focuses on Premiere Pro, which is the editing software that both me and my editor use. Now, if you've ever attempted to make your own YouTube video, you'll know that editing is a massive process that takes tons of hours, but can also be extremely fun, so I'm really looking forward to it. If you yourself happen to be interested in this subject, I highly recommend the Learn Adobe Premiere Pro Guide by Helise Nervaez. It's a pretty fun, kind of follow-along style guide that I'll think you'll enjoy. Past that, it doesn't just have to be about professional development. One of the things that I find most relaxing is just popping up a class on something I have an interest in and, you know, no pressure of taking a test or having to memorize it, just learning for the sake of learning. And I find that keeping my mind active like that has been a huge boon to my mental health. So I seriously recommend you guys check out Skillshare. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description box or my code TASTYLIFE will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you again for sponsoring my video and allowing me to do what I love. Now, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Bro, another elite clue? Holy shit, all right. I'll take it. Not even gonna lie, considering how terrible looted Zora is normally, this might actually be like pretty much the best thing I can get. A chance at the delicious bloodhound. Bro, what the, f what the hell? What the fuck is, now I have to go to these master clues. I gotta, I gotta like turn these in, bro. I don't wanna stop doing Zora, man. 
All right, that is another master clue. We have a total of four, which is kind of insane. Uh, I'm going to go back to Zola for the time being. We already have almost like 50 kills. It's kind of flying by, but once again, the money is complete dog shit. We're there for the glory gamers and also the green collection log. They hacked his uh, recording software. What the hell did you say to me? <laughs> his recording software. I'm just trying to turn like money making into a bit of a little extra credit series. Oh, speaking of Serpentine Vision, let's fucking go. Nice, uh, easy, easy, easy. Climb. Bro, I need that. I need 20k Teleport. skills. I'm down so fucking bad. I know. All right, those lovely gentlemen, you just heard us, the top team that we have coming in. We are going to be doing some hard modes tonight. So either it's going to be the worst night of our lives or the best night of our lives. So, Godspeed to us. Where is it? Sad oh, bad shit. Game, bro. Sometimes you just get fucked. Kids. You know, tight Kids. Uh, 20 boy, Kids. Boy. For me, please. Well, unfortunately, last night was not a particularly fruitful start to this adventure of getting riches. We did not get a single purple in, I don't know, fucking 10 raids, something like that. Um, we did get a Zolra drop, but, you know, nothing huge. However, today is a new day, so I have a Zami task that I'm going to be finishing up on stream. We are probably going to run some more Tobs as well, and I have a little something that I'm going to show you guys. It's kind of top secret. Uh, but yeah, for now, I'm gonna get ready for stream and I will see you guys uh, if we get anything cool today. All right, Godspeed 1288. Beautiful run. <laughs> Wouldn't be too bad to get a little purple. All right. Justy leg guards. Give me some Justy leg guards. Oh! Ah! Let's go, bro. Yo, what's up, foe? Welcome in, brother. Solo time, by the way. <clears throat> I will take the rapier. That is not too bad, brother. All right, already a much more fruitful day than yesterday was, just off the rip. We did get that rapier, which is super nice, and uh, nothing at our Zami task, which is unfortunate because we are quite dry for anything there currently. But yeah, I figured now as we are kind of settling down, doing some uh, master clues, adding to our stack, I figured now would be a good time to have a little chat and chew, if you will. I don't have any food, but a metaphorical chat and chew. So for those of you that are super duper long time viewers of me on YouTube, you will know that my very first video videos happen to be post-max progress videos. In fact, you can click on my channel right now and go look back at my really old videos with the terrible thumbnails and like just no real structure, but they were founded in a genuine love for the game. And I honestly feel like I, it's not that I have lost that, but I try very hard to make my content have a little bit of a different twist than just the, the multitudes of, you know, progress series that already exist on YouTube. And I definitely still have a lot of love for this game. I genuinely enjoy playing it. And I, I really want that to kind of shine through in my videos. And I, I, I've wanted to make a post-max kind of progress video again, uh, which is essentially what this video is. It's the same exact style. But I, I don't know. I just never really found the motivation. I don't know. It just didn't, uh, it didn't strike me as being quote-unquote good YouTube content. But I've been watching a lot of Bodhi's videos where he's been aiming for completing the collection log. And he, you know, he's a max main like myself. And it, it's just kind of, I don't know, it's kind of lit a fire under me. Like, I, I really, really enjoy that video. Not because it's anything specifically different, but because I really like Bodhi and I really like seeing someone enjoy the game. So, I don't know. Hopefully, you guys feel that same way watching this kind of video. I would love to continue making post-max kind of progress videos like this if you guys are interested. So, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if these are the types of videos that you guys like. I have not really done anything like this since I've been a larger YouTube channel, so I don't know statistically like how they're going to compare to my normal videos. How are they going to do? It's really nice having something to be able to just kind of fall back on and, you know, make something that I know I'm going to enjoy making. Yoink. Well, at the same time, leaving me space to do this kind of larger projects like the, uh, the cheat client video I was doing um, and my kind of, I don't know, larger concept videos. And I'll be honest, it is really difficult to balance both YouTube and streaming full time to degrees that I consider to be, you know, satisfactory for both. You do have to prioritize one. And honestly, for me, it's been streaming since I've kind of taken off on Twitch about a year or so ago. I don't know, but they're very different art forms. And I absolutely love YouTube and I want to keep growing in YouTube and I want to commit more time to YouTube. But regardless, I am literally living the dream. You know, I get to wake up and I get essentially paid to play video games. And it's, you know, it's not really that simple at the end of the day, but uh, I am extremely grateful at every moment for everything you guys have, you know, afforded me. So 
to the audience, to everybody watching. I appreciate you. Hugs, kisses. Anyway, diatribe over. I have a few different things planned for the uh, the rest of the night. We will probably run some tops because I am, of course, chasing that glorious 2K top cape before raids three. But I have another couple little special things I'm going to throw in there as well. However, I'm not going to tell you until I do them. I'm going to finish off these master clues first. All right, that is another two caskets added to the pile. I think we're at a total of uh, six. Yeah, it's looking nice. Oh, God, we're actually getting them way faster than I thought I would. Anyway, we are about to do something pretty low key, but pretty cool if you don't know a method to do this yet. So allow me to explain. Clearly, if you can't tell, I am a pet hunter by nature. I just like doing it. It's fun. And one pet that I really want is the Skatizo pet. Now, I don't do Slayer tasks. I don't do like barraging and everything like that. I basically just skip until I get one that gives me a pet. I I'm not going to spend my time barraging. So how do I get totems? You can do Brutal Black Dragons. That is indeed possible, but it's not particularly AFK. I need something a little bit better and around the same speed. Well, I have something absolutely miraculous for people in my situation. If you want to AFK this Gatizo pet, do this. All right. Go ahead, get your fairy ring to DJR. That's the Chasm of Fire on Zaya. And you're going to want to go down south, a little bit southwest, to this thing right here. This dungeon. It's the hill giant dungeon that was added with the combat achievements, I believe. Anyway, it's down here. You're just going to pop right into this cave here. And come into this very first room with all these dark hill giants, level 28. And plop down the cannon. This is so nice and so AFK. Just turn on auto retaliate and you get roughly like a totem every hour, hour 15 minutes or something like that. It is just incredible. It's the best method I've found for this and it's so free. Now, the reason I'm doing this uh, is because I'm about to go film a podcast with Mr. Seibei, the King of RuneScape podcast himself. However, it's not the Seibei cast. It is our own based after dark cast that I started with a couple of my uh, stream team buddies. I'm going to link that down below. The episode will certainly be out by the time this video is out. And I need something turbo AFK to film while we do that. And this is literally the perfect thing. So I'm going to post up here for a couple hours, hopefully get a totem or two, and uh, we'll call it an evening. Oh man, we had an absolute heater of a podcast. You guys are going to want to listen to that one, but man, I'm exhausted. Um, we got two totems, 17 giant keys, a bunch of long bones. Check this out. 158 giant keys from this grind so far. Um, I'm still deciding what I'm going to do with them, but we will see. Uh, we have an aftercast tradition of going to run a top or two, so we're going to go probably pot one of those. And, you know, last episode, last week when we did this, we pulled a scythe at our uh, late night top sesh. So can we get lucky again? Let's find out. Oh, I got Daisy, Daisy, last night we had a, we had a Val early in the morning. Oh. Least... Oh. Uh? oh. Okay. Who that? It's for your boy. Oh, your oh, boy. All right, don't what? don't fucking milk it. You're gonna get us a Justin dude, I'm Redguard. Gonna be so pissed. I'm don't. Gonna dude. Dude. What do you mean? <laughs> this is a side. <laughs> milk. <laughs> milk. Milk. Always milk. 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 Oh, we, we take, take it. it. Oh, we take oh, it. Oh, it. Oh, that's clean. Money. That's clean. And that's a trio Bro, split, I, too, right? That's a trio yeah. split. Oh, oh, nice. that is so we got it on the back to back, nice. right? Let's go. Oh, yeah, we got it on the back to back. We never do We know the whole thing. Wait, so, okay, am I range now? Yeah, you should just... You, actually, okay. if you want me to range... Oh, 41. No, I, that is I don't mind ranging that is so if you nice. still dude, want to. That's a 40 mil split. 41, Holy no. fuck, dude. Yeah, yeah you, can, you can range. Okay, so the money making has been going actually pretty spectacular so far, but you guys might have noticed that I have not told you what my first desired item is off of this list, and that's kind of on purpose because I genuinely didn't know, but... I think I've decided, and it's not a great one, at least, uh, you know, in practice. I am going to go for the Zerite Crossbow, which, if you know anything about the other uh, Runescape meta, is really only good in one specific place, and that is the place it comes from, which is Nex. Now, I have been very vocally critical about Nex in the past, and I will continue to be, but it is without a doubt the best money in the game by a factor of, like, three or something like that. So I'm just gonna find like a six man, which is arguably the easiest skill to run it with. It's the least painful and uh, hopefully make a little bit of money there. But we are a little ways off. I just want to kind of uh, update you guys on the goals that we're going. So turtle skipping for a little Zami task right now. Hopefully we'll get it soon for uh, for stream. Also completely unrelated. I just realized I have 93 dragon implings in my bank. So I'm just gonna open those and see if we can uh, yoink some elite clues and just add them to the master sec. I know this is technically losing money, but 
whatever, I like clues. Eat me. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Managed to get three more masters from that, which I think is relatively lucky. It's like one out of 50 for uh, an elite from those implings. So, a little bit over rate. Hopefully, we can spike one more so I can open those on stream today, and that'll be exciting because oh, I love clues and I really want the Bloodhound. It's by far my most desired bent. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, 10 master caskets. We open. Okay. Three seventy four. The next one is six hundred. Six hundred KC. Okay, we're halfway through. We're halfway through. Let's let's bank the loot. Let's bank all this loot. All right. Three more. These are so bad, dude. <laughs> Two more. Okay, wait, no, no. I called. I called the very last one as Bloodhound. <gasps> oh, we actually got something. We got a Gilded Feast. Oh, my God. I said it last one. Oh, last one. Oh, Lord, have mercy, bro. <laughs> oh, we got Gilded. Yo, I'll take that. I'll absolutely take that. That is not too fucking bad. And we made time as well, GG. Bit of a purple. Is that, uh, wait, is that Jake? Wait, no. Is that Ignoble? Oh my God. It's Ignoble. Oh my God, it's Ignoble. Ah, oh, I saw the uncharged. I saw the uncharged. I got so baited. I got so baited by that, dude. I th oh my god, I got so baited. Ah. Uh. All right. So after cleaning out our loot tab and everything like that, we are up to a 255 mil cash stack. And I did a little bit of math, and we made about a hundred mil this episode so far, which is really, really good considering we've only been doing this for. I don't know, like three days. However, like I mentioned previously, the Xerite crossbow is our first goal. And, oh, that's that's cheaper than I thought. Okay, we are close to that, actually. We are 150 mil away, which is really not that bad. Um, I would like that to be kind of the end of this episode. Finally getting that item would be actually great. Um, however, I'm a little bit tired of Zolra, and our top teams are nowhere to be found. It's like kind of midday, so no one's awake yet. Um, I am going to do something that I don't usually do and go back to a piece of content that I already have the pet. I'm of course talking about the Corrupted Gauntlet, which is some of the best money in the game besides Nax and Tob right now. Um, I really, really like this piece of content. I think it's very fun. However, it is a bit tough to grind, so I'm just going to sit here and kind of, I don't know, grind this out for the rest of the day and see how many kills I can get the next few hours. Oh, I got baited so hard, bro. What a fucking bait, dude. God damn it. That was a pretty fast one. How fast is that? Oh my god, a 638? I didn't even do like the I didn't even do the speedrun thing. That was almost the Grandmaster speedrun time. <sighs> Nothing. Alright, that is 10 KC? Yeah, 10 KC. Pretty, pretty quick. I'm getting the hang of this uh, decently well again. And nothing ever lucky. But let's price check how much we made, because I think it's actually a pretty decent amount. Okay, 2 mil plus uh, crystal shards. Not that bad. I think this is going to be my new kind of AFK activity. Uh, not that it's AFK, but if I don't have like a top team or anything, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to aim for like 50-ish KC this episode. I think that's uh, that's pretty fair. All right, that's another 10 KC in the bag here. I think I'm just going to go till I get a good seed, being the enhanced or the uh, the armor seed, just to kind of give myself a little mini goal. Um, the, oh god, the, the enhanced seed would be so freaking nice, because I would literally finish my entire challenge, like right now, go get a ZCB. But it is rare, so maybe the armor seed will give me a little bit of boost of motivation. I'm going to do that until my uh, top team is ready to go, and then I'll probably hunt a Zami task for stream again. So I'll keep you updated. Beautiful. I don't know, good luck, all irons. Good luck, all irons. Yes, dude, yes! Wait, you got a purple? Ignoble. It's my purple. Are you fucking kidding me? That's my purple. Come on, Ignoble. That's my fucking purple, bro. It has to be a side. It literally has to be a side. It actually has to be a side. No. Look, I've got shadow play. I've got shadow play. 
That's, there's uh, no way. There's no way this is the scythe, too. right? It, it, has it literally has to be the scythe. There's nothing else it could be. Just stop milking it's and so fucking open it. Hold on, hold on. Go live. Oh, go live, at least. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, come on, man. Come oh, on, man. So oh, Enjoy it, brother. Yeah. I'm glad you're joking. <laughs> Oh, bro. Wait, does he have a scythe? No. <laughs> Appreciate that's that sore. dust, my man. <gasps> oh my god, back to back! We got a back to back! Oh, <laughs> oh, Whose name? Who's it's name? my name, it's my name. Do you want me to oh, yeah. Is this the fucking right, scythe, bro? The, I swear to god. The I don't know, but nah, nah, this is not gonna be the same. This is not gonna be the same. Oh, Oh, we so take cute. the coin. Okay, that's second best because you didn't yoink the size from Ignoble. Yeah. And we got a true rapier. Okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. That's oh, actually that's so much money. That's fat, that's fat. All right, I'm genuinely not trying to have every single clip just be top splits, but the money is genuinely so addicting. I'm chasing that 2K cape, and it just feels so good getting rewarded so often from Tom. And, and look at this. Look at our cash stack, boys. Bam. 381 mil. We are basically 20 to 30 mil away from our ZCB. I'm probably gonna send a little bit more gauntlet today and uh, see if we can just finish off that last 20 mil. I know making 20 mil in a day is kind of a lofty goal, especially if you don't see any splits or raids or anything like that, but I really think we can do it and I am heavily motivated to make this the case. So, Godspeed to us. I have a couple IRL things I gotta take care of today, but I genuinely think I can do this. Godspeed, gamers! <clears throat> okay. Okay. All right, we don't milk these. We don't milk them. Because that's it's bad luck to milk them. Ignoble's in the raid. Dude, another rapier. I'm getting so many rapiers, bro. We take those. Oh, that is a... All right, we got her on the backpack. For some unknown reason, we got four rapiers this episode that absolutely carried the profit to an enormous degree. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe we have achieved our very first goal. I'm going to be safe. I'm going to put it in for 410. Oh, there it is, gamers. 405 mil on the dot. That is the very first item crossed off of our list, and we have a long way to go, but this will certainly help. Don't even think for a second, nigga, you might need a moment. You were only given one shot like a buzzer beater, but you stoned it. Break house, break house, break house, break house. Living breaks at the studio, hit the break on the house, hit the break on the house. Yeah, you know they're coming quick, just like swatting the drug bus, but I'm slick, bitch, call me Rick.